we are of opinion that instead of letting books grow moldy behind an iron grating, far from the vulgar gaze, it is better to let them wear out by being read. Science, my lad, is made up of mistakes. But they are mistakes which it is useful to make, because they lead little by little to the truth. I believe cats to be spirits come to earth. A cat, I am sure, could walk on a cloud without coming through. We may brave human laws, but we cannot resist natural ones. Reality provides us with facts so romantic, that imagination itself could add nothing to them. If there were no thunder, men would have little fear of lightning. The chance which now seems lost, may present itself at the last moment. The sea is only the embodiment of a supernatural and wonderful existence. It is nothing but love and emotion. It is the living infinite. The earth does not need new continents, but new men. While there is life, there is hope. I beg to assert, that as long as a man's heart beats, as long as a man's flesh quivers, I do not allow, that a being gifted with thought and will, can allow himself to despair. It seems wisest to assume the worst from the beginning, and let anything better come as a surprise. It is a great misfortune to be alone, my friends. And it must be believed, that solitude can quickly destroy reason. On the surface of the ocean, men wage war, and destroy each other. But down here, just a few feet beneath the surface, there is a calm and peace, unmolested by man. I see that it is by no means useless to travel, if a man wants to see something new. Before all masters, necessity is the one most listened to, and who teaches the best. The human mind delights in grand conceptions of supernatural beings. A true Englishman doesn't joke when he is talking about so serious a thing as a wager. How many things have been denied one day, only to become realities the next? I looked on. I thought. I reflected. I admired. In a state of stupefaction, not altogether unmingled with fear. I dream with my eyes open. Nature's creative power is far beyond man's instinct of destruction. All that is impossible remains to be accomplished. There are no impossible obstacles. There are just stronger and weaker wills, that's all. Well, I feel that we should always put a little art into what we do. It's better that way. Look with all your eyes. Look. Poets are like proverbs. You can always find one to contradict another. 
and whichsoever way thou goest, may fortune follow. If his destiny be strange, it is also sublime. What use are the best of arguments, when they can be destroyed by force? If at every instant we may perish, so at every instant we may be saved. What pen can describe this scene of marvelous horror? What pencil can portray it? Steam seems to have killed all gratitude in the hearts of sailors. What one man can think, another man can do. It is only when you suffer, that you really understand. A well-used minimum suffices for everything. It's really useful to travel if you want to see new things. All great actions return to God from whom they are derived. An energetic man will succeed where an indolent one would vegetate and inevitably perish. Civilization never recedes. The law of necessity ever forces it onwards. We now know most things that can be measured in this world except the bounds of human ambition. With time and thought, one can do a good job. Why lower oneself to taking pride from being American or British, when you can boast of being man? Solitude, isolation, are painful things, and beyond human endurance. Man is never perfect, nor contended. A scholar has to know a little of everything. Your dead sleep quietly, at least, Captain, out of reach of sharks. Yes, sir, of sharks and men. However, everything has an end, everything passes away, even the hunger of people who have not eaten. In presence of nature's grand convulsions, man is powerless. Walls were invented simply to frustrate scientists. All walls should be banned. Perfume is the soul of the flower, and sea flowers have no soul. One friend is always sacrificed to the other in friendship. My house is small, but may heaven grant that it is never full of friends. Though sleep is called our best friend, it is a friend who often keeps us waiting. It was obvious that the matter had to be settled, and evasions were distasteful to me. I ask no more than to live a hundred years longer, that I may have more time to dwell the longer on your memory. Solitude is a sad thing, with no heart to which to confide your griefs. Whereas, once underway, you can get so far, that going forwards is the only choice. One night you will wake up, and realize that you could not comprehend the female heart of your beloved. 
Wait a few minutes, our lantern will be lit. And, if you like light places, you will be satisfied.